American business is eager to see the details of President Trump's specific plans for the economy, especially when it comes to taxes and to trade. To go through the specifics of what business is looking for, we're joined now by the CEO of Snap-on. It's the premium U.S. toolmaker that sells its specialized tools directly to professional mechanics from NASCAR to the airlines. Nick Pinchuk, welcome to Bloomberg. Good nice. to have you here, Great sir. Great to be here. Okay, so as I suggested in the introduction, we hear a lot from strategists. We hear a lot from economists. You run really on a business. You've got real employees making real profits. Right. Sure. What are you hoping for out of the Trump administration? Well, let me just give you a little background so you know what, where I'm coming from on this. Snap-on's a company which makes hand tools from steel all the way to the end hand tool, and we hand it to the end user. So we call on almost uh, a million technicians in the field, our people, our franchisees, and we call on a number of factories. So we have a grassroots appreciation of what people are looking for. And what they're looking for is tone more than anything else. Mm. They understand the idea that there is limited polit political capital, so they're looking for an administration that leans toward helping the American worker and American business. So the fact that the president would have in his, uh, his inaugural address, you know, we will make no decision except for those in favor of the American worker is positive. The fact that he would meet with business early is positive. Is the business community saying to the president, Mr. President, what we really need is training and education? Well, I think, workers. look, look, uh, the U.S. Council on Competitiveness, great organization, which has, uh, you know, brings together business and, and uh, universities and labor unions and so on. They're, they're talking about talent, they're talking about investment in technology. They're talking about investment, which is tax. They're talking about, yep. they're talking about other things, like, like infrastructure. So it's a group of things. But I'm telling you, if you're, if, you're, if you're going from garage to garage and factory to factory, what you realize is what is needed is the upskilling of American work, uh, workers. Because if they have the capabilities, even if you open trade barriers, they'll win the competition. So finally, snap yes. on for your yes. business. Uh, you're not just a domestic business. You no, also we're international. Overseas. Yeah. Okay. Are you for or against the border adjustment tax? We are not worried about the border adjustment taxes. We import about as much as we export. 80% of what we sell in the United States is made right here, and a hand tool is 50% to 60% labor. And we really haven't moved anything offshore. So we're in a reasonable, we're actually, I think, in a great position. Even if they go to these destination taxes, which is the border tax, mm -hmm. we'll be in a great shape. 